Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Dooley, here again. Uh, I told you guys, or, you know, in my head, whether I, if I did forget to tell you or not, but I have gotten my hands on the M60A1. Now, I do have, it is very stock. I will say that. It is stock, the, stock to the max, just parts. So we'll be able to repair ourselves if we take a hit. Um, let's see, what else is there? I did purchase a small pack of Golden Eagles to afford a camo, as well as a decal and premium for seven days. So I, I believe I've got, how much days do, how much do I have? Six days left. Um, but, anywho, I've got my bushes, I've customized a little bit, put the guitar in the rack, because it's pretty cool, you can actually fit them in the rack, kind of, realistically. So I laid the guitar in there, put another cherry can or whatever in there, put some bags behind there. Um, decals there, threw some jerry cans on the very back, it's actually going through the engine right now, that's pretty cool I guess, um, but anyways let's take a look at this tank, uh, I'm at a reload rate of 10.2 seconds, but my M60 over here is 9.2 because it is a very, it's a much higher crew level, it's, it's 49 opposed to 29, so under tank loader you can actually upgrade, up upgrade that weapon reloading speed and it will increase it a lot so you can get those extra seconds down so let's compare this tank to the um, T62 okay because the T62 and M60 were built to counter each other um, upper plate of the M60 224 lower plate 290 and 290 260 plus I'll, I'll, we'll say 260 plus and roughly 225, 225, 260. Now on the T62, 186, 200. So 255 opposed to 183, and then 260 opposed to 200. So the M60 does have better frontal armor than the T62. Let's take a look at the turret of the T62. 240, 300, 400. It only gets bigger. The weakest pro point on this turret is pretty much... Yeah, it's going to be right here. Like 250, 250. So pretty much 250 and above. Uh, let me take a look at the M60. A1. It's sitting at... Oh, right. The turret. Weakest point, 235, I saw right there for a second. 236, but that's going to be a really tough shot, actually. Um, overall, the M60, I believe, has better armor. Not sure if this shell trap down here will be much of a popular issue. I mean, it can happen, but it's going to be quite a difficult shot. So, at least at long ranges, it will be. From the back, uh, yeah, this thing's not too good. 50 millimeters, what's the back of the T60? It doesn't really matter. You'll be able to shoot through the back of it. Um, it, it almost looks like it's layered back here. I feel like the way this tank is built, that this armoring actually goes all the way around here, and then they just added this part to that section, and that stretches all the way to the front, and this part stretches all the way to the front, and this part stretches all the way to the front. I believe they just put it in as individual models that way you could see you know where each um, piece of uh, e where each layer is put where they overlap so I feel like so for instance this layer right here with the 128 millimeters is only 128 millimeters because this plus that and then whatever this armor is this plate is so I feel like it's it's not one big it's not like it's a I don't believe it's welded together on the edges right here. I feel like it actually goes underneath and then this part is in front and then this part and this part. They're just overlaid and smoothed down. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong and they actually are separate pieces, but I don't really see any seams with them at all from looking at it anyways. I don't see any. 
But yeah, so M60, better armor, but tall silhouette. T62, less armor, but low silhouette. Uh, T62 does have a better, or not necessarily better, but larger caliber gun. I thought that this was sitting at a 19 second reload rate, opposed to 15. So, I would imagine that you can actually get this T62 cannon down to 10 seconds with an extremely maxed out crew. Uh, you'll probably not run into that scenario until, you know, until maybe a few months till people actually have fully upgraded this thing. So, I mean, it's a cool looking tank, I guess. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the Soviet tanks just because they are very bubbly, for instance. They, they're very, they're, they're kind of like your typical tank, I guess. They look very basic. Um, I mean, I guess anyone could say that about any tank, really. It's all preference for the most part um i like the m60 just because it's a it's a cool tank i like the patent tanks i've been in the general patent museum in Ca in palm desert california uh that's a great museum i'd recommend checking it out because there's not money there's the tanks are not roped off so you, you can't you can walk up to them and touch them and you're not you know restricted by the stupid ropes that make you feel like you're at a movie premiere or something but they're pretty cool because in there and you're in the de in the kind of terrain that one would be in it's in the middle of a desert uh it's actually the same place where general Patton set up his invasion in africa where he trained his uh men to get used to the harsh environments of africa because if you haven't known palm desert is a lot like uh the deserts in arizona it's very dry it's very hot and uh pretty mountainous at some areas oh, looks like I've just got to level 96 yep all right enough jibber jabber we're going to go ahead and put this into the loadout so oddly enough it does sit at the same battle rating as an M as the other m60 I'm very surprised that they did not add a not they did not make it 9.0 and that can either be one of two things that can just say that they're not going to put tanks at the same battle rating limits as the jets or they'll be implementing even more modern tanks with even more modern modifications later in the game but i don't see any of that happening until after ships and after world war mode so i, I don't see that happening anytime soon anyways let's go to battle guban now i am still getting used to this tank it is not a tank that I have mastered at all, just because I got it yesterday. Um, I don't know what this means. If maybe it means you have to capture this before going there. I don't know. Mm. We're going to go at the top. Let's see. How, that, how, how is this going to work? I'm not really sure. I'm not used to the strangeness going to turn the graphics down just for a second to maintain better frames and uh, we'll go with uh oh shoot sorry we're going to turn the grass range down trees the particle density we'll turn that down a little reflections water physics uh, on ground terrain quality and we'll turn that down a little bit Alrighty, there we go. That's much better. That is way better. Holy cow. Alright, so we got some Sheridans, Leopards. Oh, wow, another M60A1. That's kind of cool. You don't see many of them. I mean, and I can see why, because they just, all of a sudden, within the last two patches, made these American tanks so hard to get. They added the M48 Patton, which I've heard is actually a very good tank. I've heard that a lot of people will actually prefer it over the M60 simply for the fact that its gun reloads much quicker. It's an incredible 90mm cannon. I believe it's a 7.6 or 7.4 or something like that second reload rate. Something insane. And I believe it does get heat FS. I really wish they added the, um, the little light thing on top of the turret. That would have been cool to see. It would really make the M60 one stand out a little more than the normal M60. I mean, not that the the new turret doesn't, but it'd be. I like 
I feel as though the American tanks are actually lacking a lot of detail. Like, I feel like they could have a little more if Gaijin truly wanted to. And we're going to kill some AIs. Hit, and we are using the stupid Sabo rounds. T10, I'm just killed an M4. Alright. Wow. High penetration Sabo. I'm not a huge fan of the Sabo. I do really like the Sabo on the M41 Walker Bulldog, however. I, uh, I despise the British Sabo rounds. They are not adequate. <laughs> at all. I find that they don't shrapnel enough to get those kind of, you know, snapshot rounds that other tanks can. I do also need the uh, upgraded elevation mechanism. Because that will allow... Oh god. Target damage. Alright, we got a T10. I think that's T10. That might be a T62. Hoping to God it's a T10. I'm, I'm not mentally prepared to face a T62. <laughs> ah, that's my friend. Tell you all about my best friend. And a boy. We'll get to see what it is. Ah, it is it. Heck is this? T62. Not sure if I really stole that. I mean, I was currently engaged in combat. Okay, that's an AI. You can always tell if they're AIs based on the amount of... Mm. What the fuck? Frustrating Sabo. Accepted the fact that I'm going to pick up this car. Wow. That was not much strap strap no at all. Yeah, screw you too. Mm, fair enough. He did he probably didn't know I was engaging it for 30 or 40 seconds. I respect him. Alright. We've got one kill. Kind of kind of a kill, kind of not. Argue whether that was a real kill. Maybe it's 57 right there. I'm not seeing nothing up there. Doesn't mean that we can't stay on. We don't have many forces up north, and they do still have a lot of people alive, so I'm going to assume that there are some forces. Of my position. Overall, I enjoy this tank. I like it. I need to get it upgraded to really get kind of a D on it. Cause when you're stuck. How could he have seen me? I mean, I understand that. Hmm, interesting. Oh well, we'll come in in the other M60. We'll spawn up north. Now we know exactly where he is. Eh. I couldn't. You can see with the IT one, you cannot tell what direction it's looking because of its stupid turret. I mean, it's it's so round and it's so symmetrical on the rocket. From looking at it straight on, you don't know if it's pointing at you or away from you. It's a frustrating... What? It's only game! Why you have to be mad? That's interesting. I, 
Okay, so we do have heat FS. This is the same kind of heat FS that I believe the M61 has. This tank is, I mean, they're very, very similar tanks. The difference is that one of them just has a little bit better armor. Apparently it's a little more mobile, but I'm not finding that right now. Mm. Yes, you enjoy having your graphics extremely low so you can see through the trees. I understand. Alright, well, let's see if we can't get in another game. I will be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. It appears to me that we are in Poland. Uh,. In my opinion, it's one of the better maps, too, because I particularly enjoy the the semi-urban combat. I'm not a fan of, like, Berlin or, um, what's that other, Advanced to Rhine. I am not a big fan of the long, enduring, and urban combat where you can get killed from any corner, any street. I really prefer the gameplay that kind of is almost more dynamic in a way because, you know, you, your paths aren't paved. Like this one, sure, you have the city in the middle, but the capstones aren't really in the middle. I mean, you could you could chill and just chill out for the game if you wanted to, go covering a point. I'm actually going to go cover. Okay, let's stop lagging. Why are we lagging again? Alright, that fixed it. Interesting. Let's see. So it appears to me that this game's actually quite in progress. What the crap? Graphics. Particle density, maybe turn it down. Um, I know, not very good graphics, but here, let me see if terrain, I'm pretty sure terrain quality will do quite a lot, actually. Oh well, deal with it. We're going to, who we got there? Rocket and Yagda Panza. I'm, I don't, I don't know really about the rocket tanks. I mean, they're, they're cool, but I don't know. I don't think they're done as well as they should be. I think that, personally, if it were me, I would give, you know, almost all the tanks, um, like, that you kind of have to have. Because I have seen stupid IT-1s shooting, um, shells over boulders because the rocket's able to actually stick up and point over, you know, rocks. I've seen IT ones to the point where you cannot shoot them. And even if you hit the rocket, it will not detonate because I guess it has not been modeled in that they're am ammunition. So, I don't know what the deal is really with how it should work because... The idea with those is if they're like laser guided or what? I mean, not laser guided. I want to say they're radio guided or something. I don't know. Either way, you have to be looking through your sight to guide them. So I don't see why when players are able to use their binoculars to guide the missiles that it's truly fair. All right, let's see what we got. Let's take a look. Spawn point is available. Cool. Yeah, 
you you almost want to play really reserved as well in tanks. You wanna you don't want to be aggressive. You can you can kill stuff. Someone help me. Where you at, dude? You're out of my reach. Now I know the American tanks have gun depression. Almost just kind of wonder. Okay, so we're taking that zone back. Okay. Is that a thing? Ooh. He's on fire. What? Hmm. T ten M, so not a rocket tank. We got an actual tank prowling the area now. Pretty cool, I guess. I don't see why these rocket tanks are in the town. It just doesn't seem like a good idea. When you have to be... Yep, T-54 killed rockets in the Iron Panzer. That's why you really shouldn't do it because you don't you're not gonna have the time to react that you know a tank with an actual cannon would be able to. Oh we got some. Yep, we got some. So we still own that point. Oh right, they've got a spawn point over there now. I need to take some better position then. Would over there be kind of good? I'm just afraid something would sneak up on me from the side right over there. What the heck? Yeah, there's something over there, I guess. What are we going against, anyways? Is Soviets? Okay, that, that's.
Still have not captured B. Frames, don't do this to me. Spawn right there, and we'll, we'll, we'll push at their spawn, see if we see anything. Yeah, stock this tank is not as agile as it seems it would be. And you can see now, it's rated at a top speed of 29 miles per hour, but we, we're nowhere near getting that. Oh, man, they're almost out of players. We'll make a run for it. We'll go for it. That's kind of an uneventful battle. Alright, so we're back in the hangar. Um, so, you know, I don't think that it's enough to just show a stock gameplay of this thing. I think I will probably post another one with the tank fully upgraded later on once I do get it fully upgraded. But that will have to come with time. Uh, for now, I hope that you guys enjoyed this gameplay. I know it was not some of the most active and enduring gameplay, but uh, I think it was enough for you to understand how the tank performs. Um, at a stock, at a stock, you know, what's the term? Configuration. So, thank you guys for watching, and please do like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to get, see you guys back on the channel. Um, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching.